In Linux Mint, the panel, sometimes called the taskbar, can be customized to fit your needs. The first thing you might want to customize is the panel itself and its location and size. To do this, right-click anywhere on the panel, then go to Panel Settings. Here you can change things like the panel height or its size to make it larger or smaller. You can also set the panel to hide itself when it's not being used. If you do this, you do have to remember where your panel is so that when you move your cursor to that side of the screen, it will automatically pop up. There are a range of other options that you're welcome to explore, but these are the most common ones. You can also add new programs to the panel by pinning them from your menu. To do this, navigate to your menu in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen, find the program you want to pin, right-click, and click Add to Panel. You can rearrange these icons by clicking and dragging them at any time. You can also remove them by right-clicking and saying Unpin from Panel. You can also change how your menu button looks. To do this, right-click on your menu, click Configure, then go to the Icon section, then select Browse, and using the File Explorer, find the photo that you would like to use. Mine is in my Pictures folder, so I'm going to click on the Pictures tab. Next I will select the picture that I want to use as my menu icon, click Open, select the image again, and hit Select. Now if I close this window, if we look at our menu icon, we can now see it's the picture that I selected, but it still acts the same way as the old button. The last thing that I can update are the applets in the bottom right hand corner. The applets are usually a series of quick access configuration menus. You'll find things like the clock, sound settings, network settings, security settings. You'll even find Bluetooth settings if you have a Bluetooth enabled computer, or battery settings if you're using a computer with a battery, like a laptop. If I want to change how my clock is being displayed, I can left click on the clock and go to date and time settings. I can turn off the 24 hour clock to have it displayed in 12 hour mode. And then I can also enable my computer to display the date. Next are the sound settings. If I click here, I can change the volume of my computer on the fly. or I can click sound settings for more advanced features. This is where I would go to change my output settings from speakers to headphones, or my input device from a microphone to a built-in microphone, or the microphone built into a headset. If I go to the output tab, I can test my speakers to make sure that they're working properly. First I click test sound, then I can click one of these two buttons to play sound out of the left speaker or the right speaker. Front, left. Front, right. Front, left. Front, right. When I've ensured that my speakers are working correctly, I can click the close button. I can add additional applets to the panel by right-clicking on my panel and going to the Applets section. Here I'll see a list of different applets that I can add to my computer at any time. If I scroll down, I might decide that I want to add my trash to my applets. If I click on the Trash button and then click Add, now I can see that this little trash bin appeared on my applets. 
Clicking on the trash applet will open my trash, and then I can empty it. Customizing the look of your computer through the background, the panel, or even the theme can really make your computer feel like your own. However, if you ever feel like things have gotten out of hand, you can always right click on the panel, click troubleshoot, and then click restore all settings to default. You'll notice that some things stayed the same, like the clock settings and my custom menu icon, but I can easily change these at any time. If you want to learn more about customizing your computer, feel free to check out our other videos, but that's it for now, so thanks for watching.